let's take a look at problem number two. It states in the coordinate plane shown, point C, not shown, lies on segment AB. If the ratio of the length of segment AC to the length of segment CB is 3 to 1, what is the y coordinate of point C? So point C lies somewhere here. <clears throat> But we know that um, AC is longer than CB since 3 is greater than 1. So we, we're going to put C closer to B. Okay, so there goes C. So the ratio of AC to CB is 3 to 1. All right, so before we solve this problem, um, let's go over uh, the formula that we're going to be using real quick. Now, there are many ways you can solve this problem. Um, but I just want to show you this method is pretty um, neat and fast and it works very well for finding um, for finding coordinates um, when you have ratios. Okay. Now, the formula we're going to use is known as the ratio theorem. The ratio theorem for coordinate geomet geometry. Okay, ratio theorem. In some countries, it's known as the section formula. Okay, they mean the same thing. The section formula or um, the ratio theorem. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up real quick. You see how neat it is in uh, helping us solve this problem. So let's go ahead and uh, draw a segment. <clears throat> let's make it a, a green segment. So let's say we have a segment like this. And we have two points, points um, A and B on a segment AB, and then let's say we have a point C, right there, somewhere in between um, the two points in the interior of the segment C, all right? Now, um, let's say point A is X1, Y1 for the first coordinate, and point B is X2, Y2, and the ratio of AC to um, BC is n to m all right so let's write it down um, ratio of ac the length of ac to uh, cb is n to m okay let's say that's the ratio so the length of this to that is n let's put the n here Oh, let's switch it around. Let's do M to N, since M comes first in the alphabet. So the ratio is M to N. Sorry about that. So the ratio is M to N. So if you have this set up, how can we um, find the coordinates of point C? <clears throat> so the coordinates of C is given by coordinates of point C. C is given by the following formula. <clears throat> now, the x coordinate, this formula is kind of interesting. The x coordinate is as though you're multiplying the ratio value farther away from x1, y1 by x1 and y1. So you're going to have um, n times x1 plus n, <clears throat> n times x1 and then plus m times x2, you notice this n right here is being multiplied by x1, and then this m being multiplied by x2, divided by n plus m. That's the formula for the x coordinate. And then for the y coordinate, the same pattern, we're just going to replace y1, I mean x1 and x2 with y1 and y2. Okay, so we're going to have n times y1, so this n right here times y1, plus m times y2, okay? And then divide that by n plus m. And there goes the formula for computing the coordinates of point C, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and apply that formula to this situation right here. We are looking for just the y coordinate, which is nice because uh, our work is cut in half, all right? So the ratio here is 3 to 1. So this will be 3 right here, 3 to 1, 
All right, so y coordinate of c, um, the y coordinate <clears throat> um, of c is given by just the y co component of this formula, n times y1 plus m times y2 divided by n plus m. So what is y1 and y2 in this formula? The, the y-coordinate of the first point is y1, and this is y2. This is m, the first point uh, section, and then this is n. Okay, let's list it here so we don't get confused. Make sure everybody understands what is going on here. So we have um, y1 is 4, y2 is 10, m is 3, and n is 1. Okay, so in this formula, it's as though you're cross multiplying. You see, you have n and y1, n and y1, you multiply. And then m and y2, m and y2, you multiply, divided by the sum of n and m. That will give you the y coordinate. If you wanted to define the x coordinate, you just replace these two with 2 and 10. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and apply um, this formula to this situation here. So we're going to have um, n is what? 1 times y1 is 4 plus m is what? 3 times y2, which is 10, divided by the sum of the two values for the ratio, 3 plus 1. Okay, so this is what you get when you apply this formula to these values right here. So let's go ahead and simplify it um, using um, arithmetic. So order of operations, we're going to multiply first before we um, add or subtract. So 4 times 1 is 4, 3 times 10 is 30, divided by 3 plus 1, which is 4. 30 plus 4 is 34, divided by 4. You can reduce this by dividing the top and bottom by 2. That's the GCF. So we're going to have um, 17 over 2. In decimal form, this is 8.5. All right, so this is the y-coordinate of uh, C. Okay, so the y-coordinate there is um, 